So today we are in a new town, the town of Corfino. And have we got a property for you? Just wait, just wait until you see this one. So today we are in Corfino and I've hit just the perfect time because it's lunch time which means we won't see a soul on the streets. <laughs> Lots of people say to me, um, does nobody live in these towns? People do. It's just, Italy is like this. Between one and four o'clock, things just quieten down. That's just the way it is. And I love it, to be honest with you. Once, you. once you're here and you get to know that, you understand it. So there's a bar here, another one there, another one round the corner. There's all the basic facilities here. And um, there's great public transport because there's buses that take you everywhere. You're really close to Rayano, where the uh, uh, train station is. You're really close to Popoli. Again, train station, so you, no problem with public transport. It's got a beautiful old town. There's a bit of a story behind Corfino because they say it's one of the first capital, or the first capital of Italy. Going back well, well before Garibaldi. And uh, they said that when Italy was split into parts, this was the centre of Italy. Anyway, you know what's great about this place as well? Look at this. Have you ever seen anything like this? It's absolutely stunning. It's really characteristic. Love these old towns. So as I say, public transport, there's plenty of it in, in terms of buses. Um, but you're not far away from train stations as well. Look how beautiful these places are. And I do love this lunchtime thing. I know people, so many people do say, oh, nobody lives there, that's why there's this and that's why. It's just not, you need to understand how Italy works. I'm not talking tourist Italy. I'm talking real Italy. I'm talking Italy that, well, where we live, where we are, where Abruzzo is, everything that's, it has its tourist towns, it has its tourist destination, but it also has real life. And that's what these places are. And that is what the attraction of Abruzzo is. That's why I love it so much. And between one and four o'clock, people eat. And that's it. I really like this uh, this old town. I really do. Just going to show you a couple more old streets. Obviously, there's plenty to explore when you're here. And the property is a five-minute walk from here. Um, on the other side of the valley, which I'll show you again when we get round there, where it is. There's some bed and breakfasts in this town as well. They're just absolutely beautiful. And the house we're going to see today is, well, the amount that you get, what you get for your money is just unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. Because you've got a habitable, habitable part of a house and then you have so much, so many extra buildings that you can develop into that's just unbelievable. So what you get for your money you're going to be blown away by this one. The reason why I'm walking down here now is because just to show you roughly where the house is from here, even though you can't see it, but you'll get the idea when I start the video up again. Basically, the other side of this, the other side of this road, this is a, another part of the old town, and that's where the that's where the property is. Great location. I do love this place. I really do. I'm not going to walk you up the same street. I'm just going to turn the camera off and put it back on again a little bit higher up. Okay, back to to where I was. <laughs> I just want to just have a quick look around this part. Just show you this. 
easily get lost. I've absolutely no idea where Domenico is. He was supposed to be showing me around this part, but there you go. Just look at how amazing this is. <laughs> Incredible. These buildings are so historical. You know what else I like as well? Is the mumble of people in their homes having their lunch. When you see rubbish as well here, it doesn't get left on the streets, it's because they come door to door to collect all of this. Look at this. What an incredible building. So that's a little a little look at the town and let's just see what's down here I seem to think there's parking or something down here do you like coming on these little walks oh yeah there's some parking there and then when we start off in the old town it's just round it's just round that corner again so what we'll do now is we'll head off into toward the area where the the property is I'm not going to walk that way and film it uh, but I will start filming again when we get close to to the property and what we're going to be doing as well on these property videos what we decided to do is once spring has sprung even though an hour ago it was beautiful weather um, we're actually going to do some town visits we're going to try and video every town and village that we dealing deal in so we can shorten these videos which i know some of you like doing the town visits as well as the uh as the property but i think sometimes when we go over half an hour or 40 minutes the videos may get a little bit too long so uh, we've decided we're going to do single town visits and that way then you can look back on those if you find a property that you like so the house is in in this section here couple of a uh, couple of rows back so you ready you ready to do it let's do it so the area where we've just been is just a couple of minutes walk around that side and the property that we're going to see that wasn't one of our telephones that was a <laughs> there was somebody's window open while they're having lunch the property we're going to see are the properties because what you get here for your money is just unbelievable and the property that we're looking at is is all of this I don't know if you can see just over these these roofs here that's the old town so I was stood there looking back this way just look at the size of this you get so much in this place you really do there's rooms underneath here there's a completely restored apartment all on the top floor absolutely brilliant it's obviously a stone property it is an older property but as well as this main house you also get all of this to the side you also get this little garden you get this building here and you get something really incredible in here there is so much to this property there's so much development potential but the great thing is you've got a habitable property to start with here so you can just come bring your suitcase move straight in and then slowly do works if you decide to this one for the money is something really special the town is brilliant as well the location is brilliant there's also a swimming pool here two kilometers away you've got easy access to motorways you've got easy access to towns that have train stations you have buses that pass all the time here well not all the time but a good amount each day and you've got this fantastic property this one is a great one make sure you stick around to the end and see everything that you get with this place are you ready to start 
let's do it so let's take a look at the uh, at the habitable part the part that you can start using straight away so nice doors the original wooden doors always good to keep them and the condition in here is superb you can just come straight in that's the amazing thing with this house is you've got so much potential but you've also got a habitable part and this is a great space superb space in fact I can't even get it all on my camera so this is just one big living dining kitchen area the only thing they've done a little bit well, I'm not gonna say strange because it's what people do here um, <laughs> they've got this huge stufa or oven in the middle of the in the middle of the kitchen and the reason why people do this um, some people still prefer to cook on them but these give off loads of heat so rather than putting the gas on and heating with gas people would just rather have something that the heat and they can cook on as well at the same time it's just the way it's done here but as you can see here there is a boiler and there are radiators so you don't need to do that but maybe you want to keep this maybe put it somewhere else maybe even I don't know I'm not quite sure what I'd do with this you tell me tell me in the comments so it's a little bit awkward to do the for you to see the kitchen but the kitchens in in uh, good condition to be fair kitchens of this size that you can get from places like Ikea and that's so you spend a thousand euros 1200 euros and, and and you have one but it is it is in good condition to be honest with you just needs a a little bit of a, a clean round it's in good condition but this room is fantastic really nice and light as well I know there's the light on but <laughs> it's not giving off much it's uh, you got these double windows here you got double windows here so it's really uh, really good like the flooring nice tiles the tiles run throughout as well so you've got two bedrooms and a bathroom up here but then you've got all that space downstairs as well and to the side this is an amazing place absolutely amazing place there is somebody renting the property at the moment so excuse the rubbish on the balcony look at the views as well from here amazing and the the town that we showed at the start of the video it's just it's just here brilliant then you got that town over there which is Rocca Casale and you're really close to the motorway the motorway is I don't know if you can see between the houses but you can see a bridge here that's actually the motorway that takes you straight to Rome and straight to the coast so you've got public transport that runs through Corfino but you're so close to the other towns you're so close Places like Popoli as well, train station, you're close to Sulmona. Amazing location. Folks, I think this is an absolute bargain. Absolute bargain. Double windows, a little bit of a Juliet style balcony. They're not huge these, but you can you can open the door and sit reasonably close because it has this ledge. Bit like the other one so you could sort of open the doors and sit there you can see the mountains at that side i don't know if you can see that there's a fly screen on the outside the windows the windows are these are the older windows in these two rooms the others have been changed but the owners told me that they're going to be changing these windows so so there you go brilliant and this has been restored it's got new electrics the boiler let me just show you the boiler the gas boiler for the heating is it's not new new but it's certainly not an old one this is a this looks in very good condition and usually to be honest with you if you were going to get another kitchen you could get a cabinet to put that in so it's not on the outside and then as i said before you could just move this move this out of the way brilliant great size let's go and have a look in the bedrooms so the main main bedroom here again great size and again really nice and light 
very good size. And here you can see the windows are, these are brand new. Brand new double glazed windows, super, still got the stickers on. <laughs> they must have literally just got them put in. That's what she was saying, they're doing the other ones as well. And this room here actually belongs to the property as well. I think I mentioned that earlier. It's only an extra storage room, but <laughs> typical of uh, houses here where people in the past bought different rooms for, for their own uses, whatever they may have been. But it's always good to have a bit of storage. So this is a great size, great size room. Then we have a bathroom. The moment it's got a shower curtain, which I don't like at all, but you could easily, easily just put a, uh, a glass surround around that. The shower's a decent size. As I always mention, I'm quite big boned and I could get in there with no problem. Squeaky door. And they've also got the washing machine in here, but you've got so many different rooms that if you wanted to put the washing machine somewhere else, you could. And then there's a window out to the, the front street. Not a huge bathroom, but what more do you need? And then we have the second bedroom. Which again is a good uh, a good size. I don't think it's a, oh, I don't know though. This is a, 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 war, a good size wardrobe in there. So maybe, maybe you could get a double bed turning things this way and pushing the bed further up towards the wall. I, I think you would get a double bed in here actually. Obviously, the people that's in at the moment have got children, so they... But I think, with this wardrobe out of the way at the side of me, I think you would definitely get a double bed in there. What do you think? I mean, the great thing about this property is you've got this habitable space that you can use straight away, and then you've got so much potential with all those other rooms. I think it is absolutely brilliant. Love this location. Beautiful street, parking is 20 meters away. What a great property. What an absolute stunning property. Okay folks, are we ready for the final thoughts? Let's do it. Don't know why I said we're going to final thoughts. That was a bit of a rush, wasn't it? I hadn't even started. I haven't even shown you the rest of the place yet. So obviously, show you the, gar the the small garden and the potential that you've got in here but I wanted to show you where the parking is as well just so you can see look at the uh, not a bad view is it amazing the Val di Polina is absolutely beautiful so you've got all the Maella mountain range and then you have Sulmona in the middle and then all the towns and villages around it so this is basically the parking area. There's parking that goes around there as well, so there's plenty of space. Plenty of space for that. Just think this place has just got so much potential. It's unbelievable. So, so this wall belongs to the property. So this car pass. So this belongs, if you wanted the private, obviously you can grow up, do what you want, but it's great to have this kind of, this kind of space. Imagine this out and having a courtyard style thing. Style thing. <laughs> this is a, a, a double story bridge up there on the top, but it's that could be something really special. Really, really special. So let's take a look in here first. Would adjust and look at the vaulted ceilings. Imagine what these would be like. Either painted or if you can, because it has been sprayed with concrete, I'm sure you could still get this off. Some of the stone vaultings, but even just painted, fantastic. Then there's water 
that they brought in there. Maybe we could try to see if we could get a, a bathroom in there. So I say there is an upstairs. They used to get to from from here, I think they said, or from from this corner. What would you do down here? This would just be incredible. Imagine this as a taverna, as people traditionally used to use these sorts of places, which would be um, just somewhere where you, you you eat all together. Everybody, if there's parties, if it's Christmas, if it's you know whatever celebration, people would eat in in tavernas. I should have probably brought my light, shouldn't I? <laughs> it's in the car. Does that help? But what a great space that would be. Good size as well. But I think, I mean, it could be a studio, it could be whatever you need it to be. Whether you could turn it into habitable space, I'm not sure, because it would depend how much light, if we can maybe increase that and then add light to this door where I'm stood now for it to become habitable. I think it's got the head height, definitely that would be great then as a little studio apartment then you've also got imagine all this clock I know it's a little bit of a little bit of a mess now but imagine when it's all all tidied up amazing Cause then you've got another room in here if you haven't got enough space if you wanted just that little bit more another huge huge room and again, it could all be developed. My word. You get so much for your money. It is unbelievable. You really do. Even if you just wanted little areas where you could have guests staying and, and give them their own key and all coming onto this little courtyard. I just think it's amazing. Or you may do nothing to it. You may just use it for storage and you just take your time. The great thing is, is you've got the house. You've got the house that's completely habitable. But how fantastic is it to have space like this? I just think it's superb. Okay, so around the other side of the property is another couple of storage rooms. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at them. So from this side of the house, we have even more rooms house looks massive from from here the roof's good everything's excellent on the on this place so have a, have a look at this storage there's also lights down here let me put the light on but again a huge amount what could you do down here? You could have even more accommodation potentially down here. Because you could certainly get the light in because you could use this door as light. Maybe have a kitchen area in there. You could really get somebody in to go to town on this, on this place. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. It is actually full of stuff at the minute. Then obviously we would tell the owners they need to move. There's another big room down here as well. There's a light somewhere. Yeah, let me see if I can... I know the light bulb's not working. Anyway, great size. Whether we could get another window in here, we'd have to, I'd have to check. But also a storage is fantastic. You could do loads of things, loads of things in here. And there's a good amount of light. If these weren't wood, if this was a glass, a smoked glass door or something like that, it would let in, let in lots of light. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And then, just if you needed a little bit more space, this one you possibly couldn't do too much with. But, again, a bit of storage, and why not? You're paying very little tax on this, but you actually get the top floor of this, this place as well. Nobody lives down here now. Somebody lives in the end and apparently below this properties. But the great thing with something like this is they've done the roof, so the roof's good. 
you get in through through here we haven't got the key for the for the little lock um but there's a room up there it's, it's probably four meters by four meters but over now one day these people may sell or these people may want to buy to have and all and also you get with this place also you get this little yard area which again is a great place places but this belongs to not sure how much of that came out so I just got a warning saying that my SD card was writing slow for some reason but yeah as I was saying all of this belongs all of this and the huge property at the end how much property do you get for this price it's just unbelievable unbelievable but the great thing is you're moving ready up there now final thoughts So the final thoughts on this one I'm going to do from outside because there's just so much, so much to see. Uh, another thing to note as well that I didn't mention earlier is they've got fibre optics as well here, which is fantastic. But my thoughts on this one are just, it's amazing. It really is. Because you've got that lock up and leave, you've got that where you can come straight in. The town is great, it's good to hear.